welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Allie. And today, I'm going to show you how I got this eye makeup look right here. This is not a full face tutorial because that would have been seven hours long. And I don't want to edit that. I got inspired by this look from a photo that Jaclyn Hill posted on Instagram the other day because it's fire flame. And I didn't plan on recreating it, but I asked some people to give me some suggestions on what I should film because there's so many things that I want to film but I'd rather film like what people would like to see that way I know they want to see it and they're gonna watch it and they're interested in it you know what I'm saying so a couple people said do what Jaclyn Hill just did so I kind of just looked at it and ran with it so yeah if you're interested in seeing how I got this eye makeup look then please keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like it Okay, bye. Alright guys, so while editing this, I accidentally deleted half of my film. So, this part was actually filmed a different day, but hopefully you won't be able to tell. I apologize in advance if the lighting is different or if anything looks weird, but hopefully it'll all flow together and everything will just work out. I'm going to start off by priming my eyelids with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm just using a Sephora Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush. I always use this brush to apply my eyeshadow base just because it's thick and fluffy and buffs everything in nice. Yes, I still have eyelash glue. Chillin'. Just ignore that. I swear, the House of Lashes eyelash glue is super glue. In a good way. Next, I'm just going to set that eyeshadow base using any type of flesh colored powder you can use your setting powder you can use anything really next i'm just gonna go in with some scotch tape just make sure they're decently even the first shadow that i'm gonna go into is peach smoothie by makeup geek and i'm just taking this on a mac 224 and brushing this all in my crease this is going to act as a transition color. Most of the shadows that I'm going to use today are from Makeup Geek. And there's one from Colourpop and I think one from Urban Decay. Just going to brush this all in my crease. And just go back and forth until I get the desired color that I want. I said that weird. I said desired. Then on a smaller, more dense brush, I'm going to take the shade Cocoa Bear. This is also from Makeup Geek. I'm going to take it on my MAC 217 and just precisely place it in the crease. You don't want to go up too high or over too much. And blend this into the crease. And then I'm going to make like a different shape with it. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. And just blend it all in. And also blend it down into here to create kind of like a V. Always better to start with a little amount of product and then build it up because it's easier to just do that than take it away once it's already there. And now I'm going to go in with the darkest color that I'm going to use. This is the shade Bitten, also from Makeup Geek. And I'm taking this on a Morphe E18 brush. It's a little bit big to be a pencil brush, but it's really dense and it's good to pack on color, but not to blend with. So all I'm going to do with this is just pack this. Don't blend with this, you just want to pack it on the outer V and place it where you want it. It doesn't have to be that precise because once you blend, it'll all blend together. And then I'm just going to take my same MAC 217 brush with no additional product on it. And just blend all of this in to the cocoa bear. And now I'm just going to go back in with our first shade, which is Peach Smoothie, that light orange color. And blend over top of everything with a MAC 224. to kind of play around a little bit because I don't know what all is going to work for the middle part of my lid. So I'm going to start off with this 
burnt orange shimmery shade which is from Naked Cosmetics. I'm going to wet my MAC 242 brush with Stone Fix Plus. My best friend actually gave me this palette. She got it in her BoxyCharm and said she would never wear it so she gave it to me. I'm just going to place this in the center of the lid. That color is so pretty. I'm probably going to add some more colors over top of this just because I want it to be more bronzy than copper and a lot more brighter. Why can I not talk today? I don't know. Now I'm going to go in with my Carly Bible palette. I'm going to use this bronzy shade. I don't know. These don't have names, but it's the third one over. And I'm going to pack this on top of that bronze color. Not really doing much. I'm just going to have to do it. I'm going to have to go in with a color that never fails me. And that color is Half Baked. This is an Urban Decay shadow. One of my favorites. It's like the best gold shadow I think I've ever used. There we go. Now I'm just going to go in and clean this up a little bit. This is a Luxie 231 small tapered blending brush that has no product on it. And I'm just going to blend the edges together. And go back into that deep purple, that bitten color, and pack a little bit more of that on the outer corner where we lost some of it from blending. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Real Gar from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and I'm just going to warm up the top of this a little bit. You don't want to bring it really high, you want to keep it as low as possible. Yo, this is like major sunset -y vibes. To further blend, I'm going to go in with my MAC 224 brush with no product on it, and I'm just going to lightly blend the edges. Now I'm going in with what makes this look pop. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Belladonna Lily. ColourPop shadows apply best with your finger, second best with synthetic brushes. So I'm going to go in with this Morphe E36 Detailer brush. And then just precisely place this on the inner corner. This is a color that is definitely going to have to be built up. So just be patient with it. That took 17 hours and now what I'm gonna do is just take my MAC 217 and blend this inward to blend the blue a little better now I am basically done with the top eye part so now we can peel off the tape now I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face makeup and throw on some eyebrows and then I will meet you back to finish my lower lash line, pop on some lashes, and then complete this look. Alright guys, so I just finished my face makeup and now I'm going to move on to my lower lash line. I'm going to start by taking Coco Bear by Makeup Geek. You guys see my eyebrows? I've been brushing them up. I just think it looks so pretty when they're like fluffy and wispy. I'm just going to take the shade Coco Bear and put that very tight on my lower lash line just on the outer corner 
You don't want to blend with a flat definer brush because it's not going to work out. Then I'm going to take Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie. Blend out Cocoa Bear with this color. Using a Morphe E36 little detail brush. Now I'm actually going to take Peach Smoothie on a more fluffy brush. This is a Luxie 231 small tapered blending brush. And further smoke out that bottom lash line just to make it more blended and blown out. I'm going to take this ColourPop gel liner in the shade Zulu and I'm just going to put this all in my waterline. I know this is a creepy, sorry if you hate eyes. Then I'm going to go back into that Belladonna Lily shade and put it on the same little detail brush and drag it down here a little bit. Nothing crazy though, just a little bit. To highlight my inner corners, I'm going to go in with Kat Von D's Metal Crush eyeshadow in the shade Thunderstruck. To finish off the eyes, I am just going to curl my lashes, throw on a quick coat of mascara. Now I'm going to let that dry, and then I'm going to go in with my falsies. Huda Beauty Lash in this style Farrah, number 12. Now I'm just going to coat my bottom lashes with some mascara. For lips, I'm just going to go in with my Marc Jacobs gloss in the shade Pretty Thing. Since the eyes are so dramatic, I want to keep the lips pretty neutral. Alright you guys, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something cool. If you try to recreate my recreation of Jaclyn Hill, tag me in it. I'll leave all of my social media in the description box below. Follow me, please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. I see, I see, I see like 17. <laughs> I don't know. Shit. I don't know. Ugh. You like it? So if, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's it.